Hey, what's up, everybody? Juice Monster 88 here. Here I am to give you an update for July. And you know, I haven't made videos in a while, like I've been busy. Like everybody, everybody else. Anyway, um, I just want to let y'all know um, before I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna be semi hyenas right now. You know, trying to get my hair clear and trying to like do something different on my content and everything else. And uh, so far, of it for me, it's like uh, uh, when you know. When you try to work on something, they, your mind had to be closed off a bit because of the other situation and all that stuff. So, you know, everyday life. So, um, me updated to tell you that I have more content I want to work on right now. It's still under development for me. I just need to get them to do it already. So, you know, try to write on the script and if I had time them. But the other thing I found out is I thought I lost the files for the review I was supposed to do, but it turned out in my sterno. I just need to do is just uh, shoot it and voice act, shoot it, record my voiceovers for it. Now, I don't know if I want to do that review because it's somehow it's an old game, but I don't know if it's going to work out in today's audiences. So, um, I do have two games I want to review, and there's some other ones that was from the Xbox 360, and there's some other games I want to review that was kind of like that uh, from PS4 or something like that. And I like to continue doing Let's Plays and Retro Play to continue on. I just need to scoop out some more games that I can play do a Let's Play of it. Even though I didn't have much subscribers, but I still keep going no matter what I do it. It's just the way it is and the fact of life of it. Um, for me personally, I'm about the Resident Evil 7 review. I know that was a bit of a lackluster, though I admit that. But, you know, I was working tired on that video. So tired if I come up from work and did all this. And you know, the editing process while I do the power director, it's not that easy. It's not that like the insert outsert. Maybe it is in there, I just have to find it. Um, another thing is about Resident Evil 7 review, I decided to cancel the DLC review. Uh, and since the uh, Nara Hero DLC is not coming out anytime soon, but I will continue on. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's canceled. I will say it's like semi delayed because. I want to review all the DLCs in one, like part one, and uh, get all the band footages and not a hero DLC combined to re review the DLC of it. And that will be coming soon, as soon as the uh, DLC is coming out, and I will do my best I can for doing that. But so far, of it, I ain't got nothing done for them because you know reality, jobs, and all that stuff. Um, update for me in this one series, I want to review a little bit. It was so hard to me to review this. And that is the the Castlevania, the TV show. I mean, that was on Netflix. Holy shit, it was good. They followed the game. We got followed how the game was with some elven stories. The characters are just phenomenal in that move in that animated show. It was just. It's only four episodes in that show. I was kind of disappointed, but whatever. It's a prologue. It's a prologue of how the uh, series would go forward. And it just just announced it that the. Um, that uh, they're gonna make eight more episodes, and then they say the producer of the Castlevania anime is going to do Assassin's Creed, which is um, it's careful dude. I think the Assassin's Creed deserves had its own anime um, because it, it looks like it should be an anime in the first place. But anyway, about Castlevania. Oh God, is it really bloody? It is. Oh my God, is it really like straightforward to the source of it? And they cuss as the mud in that in that anime, and the great characters as well. Just like the way how the video game was, it takes place in Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, which is the prequel of it. You know, Lisa type, who is Lisa type, who was happened to be uh, Dracula's wife, also Alucard's mom, and she went to the castle to find some thing about the uh, some hidden knowledge. You know. And it was a really weird, rom I may even not be a fan of romantic storyline, but it's a short romantic story between Dracula and Lisa. And Dracula, uh, the reason why he went theory, trying to humans because of Lisa. And things got out of the hand, about a couple years later, she got killed by the church uh, in that series. And the main antagonist of the first season is not Dracula at all. The first season of the four episodes is the bishop of the church. And it kind of resembles the things that are happening right now and it's how my, it kind of relates to the situation of a story that's kind of relate to the real world experience. And I like the way how the structure, the writing, and the pacing of it, the characters, and the dialogue was very good. Trevor Belmont is a wise bracket 
reserve your hero because he felt underappreciated. His Velma family did not feel appreciated about all the people were paranoid and all that stuff because the church told him so. And it seemed like they using that manipulation because they thought that in terms of them can protect them, but reality they're not in that story. And it's been a year after that what happened is telling that you got a year. He was very pissed off that the Dracula's wife got killed by him. He was trying to uh, to uh, you know entertain himself, but he was so pissed off that he that the church kills kill his wife. And I'll be, I don't blame Dracula for that, because that's why I love a VA. It's like, what does the first season taught us? Two wrongs don't make it right. Because the bishop was wrong, even though he's a tyrant, a douchebag, he did something wrong. And then Dracula, a year later, wait for him, and he did something wrong. You know, it's kind of hard, because I can relate to Dracula, I don't blame him, but it was wrong, he did it. And the bishop was biggest wrong, and Elkar tried to tell him, find a D who's responsible for this. He got fury as hell. And he shut down Elicard and went down to his tomb. And so far, man, and a year later, he rides his castle up and everything was all bloody. They let it all out. And that was I love about the uh, Castlevania series. It was just so well done how they did it. And there was only four episodes on Netflix, but it's a great warm-up. And I can't wait to when it's coming out next uh, couple months from now. It may coming out. So yeah, Castlevania pretty long. Approved. I definitely, uh, like I said, it was so awesome. The fight scenes is awesome. The uh, the animation is awesome. The creatures look awesome, and I recommend it. Even though it's four episodes, but each characters are independent as hell. But they work together, even though they got the independent attitudes. Not like you know, I work alone and stuff, but they just have a purpose. And the most funniest line I heard for Sonya Belmont was the, you know, when Trevor was like a drunken wreck. I don't want to say drunken wreck, he just felt unappreciated. His family felt unappreciated. His brothers were killed, and all that stuff. But he was one of those badass characters ever. But the most worst of line I had to say is, when Sonya was telling say, I could pee in a bucket and make pretend it's beer. And I repeat that again. She said, I could piss on the bucket to pretend it's beer. That is the most fucked up line she said. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I approved it. I can't wait for how it's going to be next up of it. And I'm up for it and everything else. A game I played on, on online, though, it was for free. And I will look out link down in the description below because it is worth the attention to play if you're a Castlevania fan. It's a game called Castlevania The Dakar Chronicles 2. My fucking god, if Castlevania Symphony of the Night has a sequel, that game will be it. Because the original voice actor who played Alucard was in that game. And the gameplay of it is like old school trip with Castlevania. It's like, what if Castlevania uh, Simon Quest would be a lot better? It, the, the Car Chronicles 2, that should have been like what Castlevania Simon Quest should learn from. And that to me, that is like a great game though. I mean, I played this game on, 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 on I downloaded it, which I'll put the link down in the description below though, because it is that worth to, to play, because I played it all through, and despite um, I got the good ending with the help, with help. But. The Car Chronicles, best game to play on it. I'll put the description below. Again, I'm sorry, but you got to get it. It's it's just so much fun. And play with the Xbox 360 controller. And it was just fun as hell. I enjoyed it and I beat that game too, though. Um, as for my content right now, like I said before, it may be take a while to be semi hyenas right now. I still gonna upload some let's plays and stuff like that. I just need some time to find out this, uh, which one I could use and play on to make something that's useful. I mean, there's some games I downloaded on the PS4 and the Xbox 360. I just gotta um, find out which one is appropriate to do a let's play of, or I'm trying to fix it with how to make the Twitch happen. Speaking of, uh, last thing I want to talk about is is um, the game, the PS4 games I have up here. I bought some of the games of like four or three months ago to now, and my collection, like you saw in my video of Video Game Pickups 3, where I dedicate to all the PS4 games I get, was had at the winter sale. Now, here's an update. 
from the games I have right here in my PS4 collection. Alright, first of all, you already know, Resident Evil 7, great game, fun game, what a great back to the bring the horror to the series. Another game I've been wanting to get, and now I had it, Shovel Knight. This game is awesome as hell too. I played it, and I've been people been talking about this game. And last time I went there, I tell you my pickups video, I didn't had it. It's all sold out, and I finally found this one, and I played it. It was great. And they're just releasing free DLCs of the uh, Shovel Knight. You can play as uh, two other characters, but there's another DLC that was got delayed though because they say it was supposed to be another uh, another two another character you could play as to uh, in the game. So I'm really happy I got the Shovel Knight. I almost near beat the game. And I showed this to my nephew, I, he likes it though. That's really cool. Another game. I got Balls of Studio. Duke Nukem 3D. 20th Anniversary War Tour. Plays like the old one, with modern or new, whatever you want to, it's awesome. This is a game right here I enjoy playing in my younger days. It's kind of like a, almost a rip of a doom, but it's 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 so funny and fun, and I love to meet John St. John again. And okay, another game I'm so happy I own, Doom. This game is fucking awesome. Another one I was saying right here. This is kind of like our most craziest thing I bought of the uh, collection. I usually don't care about collecting collecting edition boxes. But this right here is the most expensive one, or I say use my standards. It was 33 bucks. It was a game, it's a simple game, you know, it's Uni Chabara Z2 Chaos. And what I think about this one here is um it's simple, easy, the dialogue could be uh, quirky and corny and stuff, you know, but whatever. It's a fun game I have here. Inside of it here is a uh of course uh the game, of course, you gotta have the games. Uh, the art book, of oh, the art book, and finally the uh, hold on a second, you know, uh, get it. Uh, okay, hold on a second, and a soundtrack, which I'm not gonna open, you know, because I think it might be a collective edition though, and I might think about, I don't know. It's a cool game to play on. It's like uh, I bought this as one of the most uh, expensive used game I bought in this standards of 33 bucks. Wow. Talk about my standards I bought in this one. I don't know. I was kind of upset about the days. I mean, I just bought it anyway on that uh, April. Um, the game right here I have right here is one. Um, my brother had my 360 version, but I said I don't have it. But I got the PS4 version, and that is Deadpool. I mean, Deadpool is just a nut. The movie was great, the character was great, the game was fun, but it's a mixed opinion for other things, you know? I like it. Another thing was one of my favorites here, uh, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, I like this one a lot. The story-wise, you can play a male, female, has a really good uh, zombie mode, Shadows of Evil, and I was really one of the most fun maps ever. It has all the content in there. Uh, Dead Arcade 2. When I first played this, though, it takes so a while to upload all the content in there because, you know, you got to download them. So, what did I do to uh, wait for a while? Because I tried it, they installed it, I thought it was slow. It turns out you still have to let it uh, go through. So, what did I play to uh, get me company to, for, um, to make sure it's loaded up the zombie mode because that one came up finishing quick so i played that one a lot and it finished the whole damn thing and i played a campaign it was great and um uh, i gotta say black ops the call of duty black ops is one of my favorite series of call of duty right there okay modern warfare may modern warfare 4 may bring some new grounds but black ops series got me the most I love the first Black Ops game on the Xbox 360. I never played a hell out of that with my older brother. Black Ops 2, I was a little disappointed about it. And there's some things I don't like about the game, like Strike Force mode, the most nauseating fucking mode I ever go through. And I mean, I understand what they go through in the, in the game of it, but god damn. Seriously. 
All right, another game right here. I have this recently. I bought this last week. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I'm a big Crash Bandicoot fan. I love Crash Bandicoot, and I remember playing him on on the PS1 a long time ago. And it was one of those games that if Mario had to retire, he would pass the torch to him. I don't know. He's like a perfect character to pass the torch to. That's what I'm gonna say about that. So, um, that's about it to tell you about this one, though, in Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Great game as well. Great game. Of course, I'm gonna have a last update here. This might be controversial. I did play it. A lot of people didn't like it. They're very disappointed. They put their uh, fun, their uh, investment in the game. They can't delay it. And the game I got for, for 12 bucks. You might not like me for this one. My number nine. I finally got this one. Yes, I understand it's not Mega Man. I understand that it disappoints a lot of people. I do before you comment section below. You suck, you suck, you suck. It's not Mega Man. No shit. You know, I mean, what more you can say about it? And y'all felt fool. But that's the main one fear of Koji Arashi. Please do not let down Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Please do not let that down, because that game, I can't wait to play. I'll buy that immediately if that game comes out. I don't care, because Bloodstained Retro of the Night, please don't let the same faith as this one. I mean, this is okay to me, but it sucks for everybody else. It's okay to me, but if you want to talk about a Mega Man game completed, here's to tell your favor. Get PS2 and get Mega Man Anniversary Collection. This one has complete Mega Man 1 to 8, all Mega Man fighting games in there, you know, Mega Man, I forgot what it is in there, but this is a complete package of Mega Man. If you need to shut up and find something, get this one on the PS2. I mean, it has all Mega Man games in there. So that's what I'm going to say about that. Alright, so that's what I'm going to say from this video, though. I'm going to be semi-hyenas. I'm going to write some content ideas that need to be worked on, because I'm sorry if I'm not doing it in a while, just let you know. For me personally, to you guys, I want to say 60 subscribers to all you guys out there. Even I've been on YouTube about eight years, even though I have this video content, I did not have well, has some things I'm looking forward to. But you know, uh, you do the best you can, the ability you do, with despite the time you had and the things out there in the reality. So that's what I'm gonna say for this video, and I want to say thank you all for watching, and uh, I want to make a couple of shout outs to my brother my brother and my boy 0x17 we express um the fluffy gamer um other youtubers out there boy 47 i want to shout out to those guys out there james roth who uh the angry billionaire the longest uh, i don't want to say sidekick his best friend mike you guys awesome in there so that's what i'm going to say in my uh video i mean there's some more content i'm gonna come out soon i just need to take some time off of youtube and try to make some content but don't worry guys, there's some more of it. I just need to work on them, work on a script of them, and try to figure out what to do. I mean, there's some Let's Plays channels, I mean, Let's Plays are gonna be coming out soon, man. I just need to figure out which game I should play, and which is worth it to do, put on YouTube. That's all the thing I'm gonna say. So that's my video update for you. Thank you all for watching. Juice Monster AA signing out, and you had a good day.